Cookbook publisher Bloomsbury Absolute has stopped selling former Master Chef contestant Elizabeth Hayes' debut cookbook following allegations that she plagiarized content from another cook. The cookbook, titled Mockin', was Hayes' first foray into the publishing world and was initially released in July. The Singaporean British chef is known for competing in BBC's Master Chef in 2011 and owning a London restaurant called May May. As reported by Eater London, Sharon Wee, who published her cookbook Growing Up in a Nanya Kitchen in 2012, accused Hay of plagiarizing several of her recipes and personal anecdotes last week in a statement on Instagram. In the post, the author explained she wrote the book in loving memory of her mother and shared many of her personal recipes. She also interviewed older relatives and shared her family history in the book. I was therefore distressed to discover that certain recipes and other content from my book had been copied or paraphrased without my consent in Mockin by Elizabeth Hay, and I immediately brought this matter to the attention of the book's publisher, Bloomsbury Absolute. I am grateful that Bloomsbury has responded to my concerns by withdrawing Mockin from circulation, she wrote. We isn't the only one to accuse Haig of using her content in Marken. Many bookstores around the world soon began to catch wind of the situation and shared their support for the author on social media. Los Angeles Bookstore Now Serving encouraged its customers to request store credit for Marken if they'd like to return the book. New Zealand cookbook store Cook the Books shared the following sentiment on their Instagram page, to pass someone else's recipes off as your own is one thing. To appropriate their personal memoir is unforgivable. The store also shared the post on Facebook and B. Yinlo, a recipe writer who runs the Rosa Malaysia blog, left the following comment. I have an Bohayang recipe on my site. The recipe was contributed by a Singaporean food blogger back in 2007-2008. Last week, I received a comment from someone who accused me of copying Elizabeth Haig's cookbook word by word without credit. I was puzzled as I didn't know who she is last week she wrote. If she did plagiarize the recipe from my blog, it means the plagiarism is more extensive than just from the Nyonya cookbook. Perhaps she also plagiarized from food blogs she continued. Daryl Lim, a poet and critic from Singapore, also joined the conversation, posting several side-by-side -side comparisons of the two authors' work on his Instagram page. In one post, he compared the following excerpts from the two books. In a follow-up post, Lim shared several additional comparisons between the two books and thanked his followers for submitting examples of their own. Eater also spoke with two other sources that said they contacted Bloomsbury in July to compare a mark and passage to an excerpt from the 2018 cookbook titled You and I Eat the Same but did not receive a response from the publisher. As of publishing time, Haig had not addressed the allegations of plagiarism publicly, but all the posts promoting the book across her social media channels have been taken down. Thank you for watching. Please, subscribe.